What's up, y'all? We're TV outside Q2 Stadium here with my G Aries. 1-1 one, one result, unlucky. Shit, ref. We should have won this game. Go ahead. Unlucky in the fact that we got this blind ass motherfucking ref who cost us two fucking points. We should have won this game 3 0. Two goals, and then that fuck. What the fuck was that? I was sitting on the north end, like 60, 70 yards away. I could see it clear as day. That was a fucking foul. Fuck this ref. You know what? This is bullshit. We should have won this game. This is just complete, complete and utter bullshit. I'm, I am hot and I'm pissed off. We better take this. I hope the players are pissed off too, and I hope to take this energy next week and beat the fuck out of RSL. By the way, we are going to be playing RSL. So another Hattie. Let's go. Question for you, bro. Uh, you say that we should have won this game 3 0, so that means that we were creating chances. Um, are you happy with the way that the team played today? Are you concerned at all or ready to go? No, you know what? I, I, th I thought we played well. Um, we had the calls go against us, and the, the ref was obviously biased, man. You saw the ratio of calls was just like 2 to 1. I don't even know. Uh, I, I thought the, sh the team showed a little bit of a fight and spirit. Uh, I think they're ready to go. I think we'll be fine. Uh, as long as we get someone someone that's better fucking qualified than this fucking ref. MLS refs, step it up. We're out to TV outside Q2 Stadium. Shout out my G. Aries. You already know. Let's get it. And we'll see you in the playoffs, baby. We'll see you, RSL. Good shit, brother. What's up, y'all? We're out to TV outside Q2 Stadium here with my G. Brad. Verde Keeper Kid. End of the regular season. We still got playoffs. 1-1 one, one result, though. What are your thoughts on this match? Worst officiated match I've ever seen, first of all. I, that was a dog show. I don't care what anybody says. Apparently, for people who've watched the, the replay, Diego's goal might have been onside, too. I, I'd like to see that at myself. Um, but for everybody who's like, oh, we got to do better, that's a preview of what's coming in the playoffs, okay? Colorado played five in the back all day. If you sat back and watched them, they played a low block. They forced us to go over the top and try to break them down. We had attacks in the first half. We just couldn't finish anything off. But that's what you're going to see next week with RSL. Remember... RSL last year won their round one match without taking a shot against Seattle, and then they won in PKs. Remember, a few weeks ago here, yeah, we beat them 3-0. That game was nothing-nothing in like the 60th minute before GTA came on. So what you saw today, having to break down a low block and winning a low-scoring slugfest, is exactly what you're going to see next week. Just prepare for it. That's playoff MLS soccer, and I'm actually glad Colorado set up like that because I think it helps us. Love it, bro. Real quick, one question. Thoughts on Austin FC's uh, possible clinch of the uh, CONCACAF ch uh, Champions League? Yeah, well, so we did clinch the third spot in the U.S., right? So now we either, if we don't win the cup, which obviously that's goal number one, but if we don't win the cup, then LAFC, Philadelphia, Montreal, or Orlando win it, then we're in, which is awesome. So people are like, oh, we got to draw. The result mattered today because NYF our NYCFC actually won, so we needed the result to get above them. Huge if we can make it there. I mean, think about playing three tournaments or three leagues next year. It's crazy, right? But, um, I mean, the turnaround, don't let today obscure the whole season. It's been an unreal season. We got a playoff game here next week. It's just a matter of – and I, I thought I saw some positive things out of everybody today. I loved Valencia at, yes, at the six yes, today. I thought yes. he was great. He was and he's – and he's the kind of – that's what you need in the playoffs. You need a guy back there who's going to be a ball hawk and win the ball back for you. Um, so I was really happy to see that, and I wouldn't mind seeing them starting again next week. There we go. Shout out my G. Brad, Verde Keeper Kid. Outside Q2 Stadium, playoffs on the horizon. We're out TV, you already know. Let's get it. What's up, y'all? We're out TV, outside Q2 Stadium. Here with my G, Alberto, here with Luis as well, bodyguard. Give us your thoughts on this game. 1-1 one, one result. A lot of fans are leaving frustrated, angry, not happy with this ref. What are you, uh, what's going on with you right now? I mean, you know, shit happens, you know. Like shit happens and uh, definitely, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't supposed to happen. Last play of the game, obviously, it's like right in the heart. But honestly, they have to just wash it off. We're going to the playoffs. It's a different tournament. They have to kind of like get their mindset ready and fix just a couple of details here and there. But I, I'm almost positive that we're going to go through. I mean, we have like a lot of faith with the team. And I know that we're going to just go through. And 100%. Dígame. Ah, en español más fácil para mí, carnal. A ver, ahora, ahora. Vamos a, a jugar contra uh, Russell Lake, alguien que les hemos ganado 3-0. ¿Usted cree que es un partido fácil para Austin o es un partido complicado? Yo no creo que hay partido fácil. Yo creo que todos los partidos este, deben de tener la mentalidad correcta. Si se confía el equipo, van a pasar cosas malas. Entonces, la verdad, debe el equipo de tener la mentalidad de estar concentrados y darle adelante, porque si no, este, si tienen que entrar con la cabeza, que son playoffs, es otro tipo de torneo, 
y tienen que salir adelante. A ver, ahí le va una. Drusi, 22 goles, conoce NFC, es un argentino que tiene, creo que si no me equivoco, es el tercer argentino con más goles en el extranjero. ¿Cree que se va a quedar aquí en Austin por mucho tiempo o hay otro uh, equipo que a lo mejor va por él? Espero que se quede aquí, la verdad. O sea, yo sé que es un, es un jugador en otro nivel. Es el MVP, sí, claro que sí. El mejor jugador de la liga, sin, sin lugar a dudas. Pero yo creo que esta ciudad lo ha arropado muy bien y espero que, este, que, que siga con nosotros, la verdad. O sea, no hay, no hay otra cosa, pero sí espero que ellos sigan con nosotros. Jersey Dior, shout out to my G, Alberto. Gracias, Luis. We're Austin TV, outside Q2 Stadium. ¿Algo más? Nada, nomás saludos a toda la raza y vamos por el campeonato. Vamos por el campeonato, chingado. We're Austin TV. Outside Q2 Stadium, you already know, let's get it. What's up, y'all? We're on TV outside Q2 Stadium here with my GNF with a sick ass hat. He just got it from the Verde store. How much was that? 65? 70. 70 and a kidney. Sheesh! Hey, 1-1 uh, result here at the Q. Uh, disappointing uh, refereeing. A lot of fans are coming out of this stadium frustrated, angry, pissed off, saying that this ref should be fired, should be fined. Some fans even saying he should, he should be fined. What's your take on this match, bro? I think this is MLS refereeing. I mean, we've seen it. We saw it last season. We saw it this season. The ref's not really my concern today. Uh, I think more more or anything, the form that we're going into playoffs with, but because I do feel like the team's holding back a little bit, maybe unconsciously, because I don't think they're going out here not thinking we're, we want to win. But yeah, the form, I'm a little concerned about that, but not too much. I know when it comes to the to the day, these guys will give it their all. Uh, right here at the game. So. Now, we're, we have RSL 100%. That's our opponent for the Audi MLS Cup playoffs. Uh, what are your thoughts on that matchup, RSL versus Austin FC here at the Q at home? I think that's good news for G10. No? I mean, I uh, scored uh, the first hat trick with them, against them. Uh, we'll see what we can do. I think it's a great matchup, honestly. I think I think Minnesota probably would have been a little more than we wanted to handle at, uh, at home or really anywhere. Minnesota came on a really good form. And RSL, I mean, not gonna, I don't want to say it's an easy rival because it's not. Nobody in the playoffs is an easy rival. But, you know, I think I think we got the best that we could have gotten. I'm, Good answer. I, I'm comfortable with that, to be honest. Shout out my G Neff. We're also TV outside Q2 Stadium. You already know. Let's get it. What's up, y'all? We're also TV outside Q2 Stadium. Here with my G. How you doing, bro? Oh, I'm doing all right, man. I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about this whole game and just everything. The, the ending was shit. I mean, well, I don't have to say anything about the refs. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of people screaming about the ref. That that was bullshit. But I want to ask you about RSL, our our official opponent for the playoffs. What are your thoughts on that matchup? I like our chance against them. I mean, yeah, it took uh, GT getting a hat trick last time, but you know they keep saying they're going to turn it on in the playoffs. I know we're going to bring it at Q2. I know the crowd's going to go crazy, so I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, I think that's the team we want to see. And who knows? Maybe we, uh, if we get past that first round, we'll see uh, Frisco here. Hey, one more question. Sebastián Drusi, 22 goals, but also 100 club goals, Austin FC. Thoughts on that, bro? 100. Dude, that's our MVP. That's our MVP, and I hope they see that everything goes through him. You know, I know, I know Mukhtar got hot, and he had his run, and they're going to say, you know, he pulled Nashville. But without Drusi, and we saw it when he came in last year, this team doesn't do what we do. Yes, we're all playing better. But a lot of it runs through Jerusalem, and we see that. We see that when, when he's off, we're off. And, and we pray and hope that somebody steps up. So, yeah, that's our MVP, man. And I, and I hope, I hope they, they give it to him because he's, he's earned it. He's earned it. Shout out, my G. We're Austin TV outside Q2 Stadium. You already know. Let's get it. Playoffs, we coming for you. That's right. What's up, y'all? We're Austin TV outside Q2 Stadium here with my G Vanilla Mexican. What a season, bro. It's been such a pleasure seeing you out here week in, week out, whenever you can make it out here, bro. 1-1 uh, result at the queue, though, the end of the regular season. We got playoffs on the horizon. What are your thoughts on this game? Disappointing. Really? I mean, I was fine with the 1-0 score. My hopes were up. But once I saw the well, the ref didn't call that foul, I was like, nope. I was disappointed with this game. I, I like the lineup. Valencia had a great game. But second half, I would have just put him but Danny. Felipe, he did No Danny, no party. Basically, that would have been like, that cost us kind of the game. We would have Danny Pereira in this game. But RSL is our next team for the playoffs, and we let's let's just see if GT can score three more goals. What are your thoughts on that matchup, Austin, Austin FC versus RSL, bro? Do you think we can, uh, you think we have the edge on that team, or you think that they might, you know, beat us here at, at home? Because last year, RSL 
play in the first round. They advanced without any shots and went on penalty kicks. Austin FC need to learn and study that film. That way can take an advantage and be RSL like how we did a month ago or two weeks ago here at Q2. I hope we make it to the second round, but I just, right now a little bit of frustration I am with this game, so. But Drew, see, he was close, beating. 22 goals. Hey, that's better than nothing. That's better than Cecilio's seven goals from last year. But, yeah. But I'm glad to be part of this, you know. I thank you guys for be letting me speak on the microphone. I may be a little shy, but, hey, it is what it is. Hey, Vanilla, you've came a long way, bro. You came a long way. Let me just say that. We're going to be here for playoffs. Shout out to my G Vanilla Mexican. We're also TV outside Q2. You already know. Let's get it. What's up, y'all? We're also TV outside Q2 Stadium here with my G Nino. Uh, I wish that Austin FC could have won so that you would have been, you know, flying high. Chelsea doing good, but Austin FC can't seem to get it going before playoffs, man. Give us your thoughts on this game. Yeah, I mean, it really comes comes down to that last minute of the game, man. That ref, I don't know what they're smoking in there, but that was atrocious. If you if MLS wants to be one of the best leagues in the world, they have to fix the refs. And that was just clear as day. I think even Adrian Healy kind of went off on the commentary, too. So it, it was just bad, man. But overall, at least Drusi got his goal. It still not might be enough to win the ML, to win MVP because the way they do their voting might be Honey Mukhtar. But but who knows? Maybe hopefully the criticism and the experts have common sense. The obvious choice is Drusi, man. You can't tell me otherwise. From second to last place to second place in the in the Western Conference, man. He's we're awesome. also we're also not biased at all at all on uh, Drusi, right? We're not yeah, biased at all. Bias at all, not at all. If we win the cup, we need to build a statue right there on Rombring and Lamar of Drusi. No, no, no bias at all, but I mean, not trying to be biased, but it comes down, he has to win the MVP, man. There's no other way around it. Question, you know, uh, RSL beat Portland 3 1 today, so that means that they will be our opponents for the Audi MLS Cup playoffs. What are your thoughts on uh, that possible matchup? Well, that matchup here at home? Uh, probably the best one we can get, other than I would have preferred either them, Minnesota, or Vancouver. Because Minnesota was kind of in a drought, but they managed to clutch up and make it in. I just didn't want to pay Portland. That was probably the team I wanted to avoid. So let's go ahead. I think I think we can win this. I think they can get the job done against Rust Salt Lake. Let's just we'll see what happens, man. Yeah. Shout out my G Nino. Okay, We're Austin TV. Like a quick shout out, man. Quick shout out to y'all. Obviously, we are Austin TV for like all the contact y'all giving us this year. For like Moon Tower, Los Verdes, La Murga, Austin Anthem, all the everybody new content creators who try to like give us news something to look forward to so thank y'all for this so hopefully we can <laughs> shout out you also for you know hopefully we can giving us love for the next few weeks at least <laughs> shout out my genino we're on tv outside q2 stadium you already know let's get it what's up y'all we're on tv outside q2 stadium here with my g daniel one one result shit ref we should have won this game fagundes goal should have been called uh on side unfortunately we share points with this shit colorado team but uh give me your take on this game bro uh, I mean, it was good overall. I mean, ref sold at the end. But first half was good. Second half, it was a little better. I think Ragoni did a little better this game. Uh, what are your thoughts on the uh, season, bro? I think it was good. Way better than last year. I mean, I think we could have won this game if Wolf was here today. We were missing Wolf. But, I mean, horrible ref. What can I say? I mean, Wolf was missing, but some of the subs that were made were something that maybe Wolf would have made. Uh, one more question. Drusy Dior getting 22 goals, bro. He has to be on fire for us to be good in the playoffs. What are your thoughts on uh, Drusy this season, bro? I mean, we, we don't even deserve him. Yeah. Where would we be without Drusy? Where would we be without Drusy? Yeah, but that's all I can say. I hey, appreciate it, my G. Uh, we're also TV outside Q2 Stadium. You already know. Let's get it. What's up, y'all? We're also TV outside Q2 Stadium here with my G Primo. Interesting game. A lot of fans are coming out. Very frustrated. I want to hear what you have to say, Primo. 1-1 one, one result. Uh, we tie Chivas USA's record for the best improvement from year one to year two in points. I believe it's 24. Something like that. Uh, but 1-1 one, one result at the Q. Thoughts on the game? Uh, I mean, it was a really good game overall. I mean, we got the tie. We got a point. But at this point, we're. I think everyone's focused on playoffs, bro. Like This game, I think, was the perfect opportunity for us to set up something good. And I think we did enough. I think, you know, it was a little bit of a tough game, <clears throat> a little bit of a weird decision towards the end. Uh, I mean, that, it kind of sucked for us. I mean, <clears throat> we are winning the whole game, bro, and then we had that, you know, shit decision. But it is what it is. We did have a little bit of a mixed lineup. So, you know, we had a few starter, starters, and then we had a few people from the bench that, that made the lineup today. And uh, I think overall they did all right.
RSL is the opponent for playoffs, Primo. Real quick, what are your thoughts on that matchup? Austin FC versus RSL here at home at the Q. I mean, we're like two and two. We got two L's, two dubs against them. So it's going to be a challenge. But if we play like we're, you know, we, we've seen this team play really, really good before. And so if they bring that same energy, if, they, if everyone steps up, you know, we have a good starting lineup, I think we can get the job done against RSL. Um, it's probably someone we weren't really seeing to, to face. I think, you know, everyone was saying Minnesota and Portland was there for a minute. But I think RSL is going to be a good challenge. Uh, hopefully it sets us up right for the rest of the playoffs. But I think we can pull it off, bro. Let's go. Shout out, my G Primo. We're also TV outside Q2 Stadium. You already know. Let's get it. What's up, y'all? We're also TV outside Q2 Stadium. 1-1 one, one result. 1-1, uno, uno. El, partido, el, el partido quedó muy parejo. Mucha gente dijo que a lo mejor el gol de Fagu era uh, legal, pero al final 1-1, uno, uno. ¿qué piensas del de uh, partido de hoy? Yo, que, yo creo que nos hizo para atrás desde el principio cuando no pusimos Dani Parera en el partido. Desde ahí, no, este, Johan Valencia trae defensa, pero no trae lo de la extra que trae este Dani Parera. Entonces... Desde ahí lo, lo, nos hizo falta, Dani, el día de hoy. Uh, quiero saber qué piensa usted de Rasa Lake. Le ganó 3-1 a Portland hoy. Eso significa que Austin FC se enfrentará aquí en casa contra Rasa Lake. So, at home, Rasa Lake, ¿qué piensa de ese juego que viene la próxima semana? Bueno, dos cosas. Necesitamos el milagro de GT para ganarles hace unas semanas. Yeah. Y en este partido no tuvieron sus mejores dos, eh, Krylak y Bobby Wood, en este partido. Y yo no sé si ellos, este, se, van a, si ellos se, se han recuperado para el próximo partido. Okay. Puede ser que es un equipo totalmente diferente cuando, si Salt Lake trae estos dos. Sí, sí. Sí. Cierto, cierto, porque uh, recuerdo un partido esta temporada cuando jugamos contra Russell Lake y Dani Pereira cometió una falta sobre Bobby Wood. Y desde ahí el partido se uh, descontroló. Dani Pereira agarró una uh, uh, red card. And... Ese fue en el partido de ida. Yes. En casa, Wood no vino. Ida, ida. Sí, sí, sí. Yes. Hey, appreciate it, my G. Afuera. Shout out yeah, to my kids. Shout out to Ezekiel, William, and Catherine. Wish you were here. Hey, shout out to them. We're at TV outside Q2 Stadium. You already know. Let's get it. What's up, y'all? We're at TV outside Q2 Stadium. Last game of the regular season, 1-1. What a season it has been. Second year, 100 club glow. Club goals, Juicy Dior climbing the charts, getting 22 goals tonight off of PK. There you go. I love that. I love that. Bro, give us your thoughts on this match and this season so far. Man, you know, we did amazing this season. Uh, what an improvement over last season. Uh, we're just going to keep going from here, you know, going into the playoffs strong. Man, we almost won this one until there was a last-minute goal. Uh, but, man, what a great game. What a great season. So proud of these guys, man. We're going to do amazing next year. Also, Rousseau Lake looks to have won their game 3-0. They beat Portland, so that gives them the, the uh, seventh seed. So RSL against Austin FC for playoffs. Thoughts on that matchup? Man, you know, we already, uh, we're already looking good. Uh, we're definitely going to be ready for that game. You know, uh, Real Salt Lake's a very physical team. They're very uh, defensive. But, man, I think if we just work on our, our – uh, on our defense a little bit, kind of get it a little sharper. You know, our boys are already real strong offensively, so uh, I think we're going to keep uh, creating chances, uh, putting points up on the board, you know, get us get us further and further. There you go. I appreciate it. Outside Q2 Stadium, we're outside TV. You already know. Let's get it. It's over, bro. What's up, y'all? We're outside TV, outside Q2 Stadium, here with my G, Bali ATX. Follow him on Twitter. 1-1 one, one result. Was this fair? Yeah, it was fair, bro. It was fair. Colorado were playing well, you know. We got lucky. But uh, it's all right, bro. I'm ready for playoffs. I'm ready for, for Q2, and I'm ready for that for that big TIFO out there. I'm, ready. I'm excited for it, man. I'm excited for it. Hey, bro, we got RSL. That's the team that we're going to match up against. They slapped Portland 3-1. Are you excited? Are you nervous? Are you concerned? Are you prepared 100%? It's official, it's official now? It's official. RSL? RSL. I think we'll beat them, bro. I think we'll beat them. I was, I was worried if it would have been Portland, you know? But I think we'll beat RSL. And I'm excited, bro. You know, it's key. Second round, it's going to be a point. If we play Dallas here, that's going to be a tough game. That's going to be a tough game, but uh, we should win against RSL, bro. Hope, I hope, you know. Hey, Drewsy breaking uh, 22 goals this season in the regular season so far. 100 club goals for Austin FC. You want to add anything on that? I'm excited, bro. I think that's the, I think that's the most goals he's ever had for any 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 club, more than River in a season or a semi. So uh, I'm excited for, for Drewsy, bro. You know, I, I hope he bags more in playoffs. We need him, bro. We need him badly. We need him badly. And uh, it kind of sucks that Mukhtar kind of beat him to the – Golden, I think Mutar, not yet, not yet. I think Mutar might win it, but hopefully, hopefully Rusi does come back. But um, 
I'm excited for Drusi. We need him for for playoffs, and we need Rigoni too, especially Rigoni, bro. Especially, especially that guy. Shout out my G. Make sure to follow him on Twitter. Check him out, the Top Happy, Flight bro. Podcast. Happy, Happy, excited. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. We're ready. We're at the TV outside Q2 Stadium. You already know. Let's get it. What's up, y'all? We're at the TV outside Q2 Stadium here with my G. How you doing, bro? One one result. A lot of fans are frustrated, leaving unhappy. We didn't really need the result, but we did need it for a lot of other things other than the uh, playoffs. We got RSL also. Give us your thoughts on everything going on right now. All right, good, bad, and ugly. Good. We in the playoffs, so we was we were straight. We got home games coming up. Also good. Um, apparently, I still need to look into this. I thought with us finishing fourth in the league that we couldn't. There wasn't a path to qualify for Champions League unless we won MLS Cup. I'm gonna have to look into the rules again, but. Uh, Disappointing in a sense as far as the overall result if that keeps us in any form of way from not qualifying for that. We'll get to that moment. Um, ugly, of course. Uh, man, I haven't been this pissed off at a game since I think it was last year against Seattle when they beat us with the teenagers. <laughs> it was such, from at least from where I was sitting, I don't know about everybody else. It was such an obvious dog. So it's, he pushed Drew Easy in the back. The things, the domino effect that that caused because First, he could have tied uh, old boy from Nashville for a golden boot. Yep. Uh, second of all, just to close out the regular season with a win for that momentum. Um, and then third, you know, <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going that. Anyway, my hope is, my hope is that this fires us up. My hope is that they it pisses them off, it lights a fire in everybody's belly to come out swinging next week in Salt Lake and just push us on through the playoffs. Yep. I agree with that, bro. Anything else you want to add to that fire take? Oh, man, it, I don't. I don't want to go. I, I'm. I want to be happy because we're in the playoffs. We're moving forward. I want to be positive. Uh, so all I'm going to say is just that uh, we just use this as a springboard to keep moving forward. Uh, I'm, I'm appreciative of this season. Appreciative that we just we're in the position that we're in. And of course, thank you all for the work you have continued to do. I'm, I'm one of y'all's biggest fans, of course. So uh, keep doing what you're doing. I'm looking forward to next week. Let's get it, bro. Hey, shout out, my G. We're at the TV outside Q2 Stadium. You already know. Let's get it. What's up, y'all? We're at the TV outside Q2 Stadium here with my G, Chris, Lone Star player. Thoughts on this game? 1-1 one, one result. I mean, the ending was a, a little bit rough to watch, but, I mean, uh, I want to be confident for the playoffs, so I'm going to keep it positive. Uh, I think we had a good game. Um, I think we could have had more chances, but I'm excited for the playoffs, and we'll see what's going to happen then. Playoffs, RSL, are you confident? Are you concerned? Are you scared? Are you ready for war? I mean, what, what happened last time? 3-0 with uh, Musa. So I'm confident. I'm not negative about it. Um, hey, one, one question, one more question. Who would you start on that right wing in the playoffs versus RSL? You got Finley or Rigoni? Finley. Uh, Rigoni hasn't convinced me yet, so I'm going to go for Finley. Yeah, that's just me. Hey, shout out my G Chris. We're at the TV outside Q2 Stadium. You already know. Let's get it. What's up, y'all? We're at the TV outside Q2 Stadium here with my G RB22 and another RB22 because he's the real one. Yeah, he's the real one. Got my G right here, though. Hey, 1-1 one, one result, bro. This team looks like they're not really getting it in gear. Or are you happy with the chances created tonight? Nah, bro. It's, it's kind of difficult seeing us go into playoffs this way. I wanted us to see a dub, more goals. The ref, man, the referees, bro, they're, they're really screwing us over lately. This game should have been ours. That last call, I mean, it ends up resulting in the goal. That's not that's not good, you know. It's 1-0. It's really 3-1, but the offsides, that's fine. 1-0. 1-0 is the final to me. Hey, bro, RSL coming up. That's the opponent that we're going to have in the playoffs. Are you confident? Are you concerned for that game? I mean, we beat them once, but they did beat us at their home, too. We had a little bit of frustration going on at RSL when we went to Ralph Salt Lake. So, you know, hopefully that's out of the window. This game coming in, uh, starting Valencia, starting, starting certain people, I want to see us get into groove, ready to, for playoffs. I really want, don't want to see us take a step back. So uh, to me, I saw us take, take a step back. We need to get into groove, and it's been a while since we've seen our Austin FC, bro. Damn, that's deep. Yeah. That's deep. That's deep. Shout out my GRB. I want to ask you real quick, who's your favorite player, buddy? Danny Fajada. Hey, let's go. No Danny, no party, right? Yes. Hey, we're at the TV outside Q2 Stadium. Regular season, that's a wrap. Historic season from 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 zero to the top. Hey, I was Lexus Club today. 
Look at all these autographs I got in Lexus Club. That's where you can. That's where you gotta be to get autographs, I guess. We got Ryusi, Gallagher. We got Claudio Reyna. Let's go. Oh, I see that. USA number ten. Let's go. Historic, historic autograph right there, bro. My boy Chris. Shout out. Shout out. Q2 Stadium, Russian TV. You already know. Let's get it.